By their own admission, the Sharks had a poor 2015 season. As early as round one, they lost at home to the Cheetahs 29-35, and from then on, they never really looked like they would dominate the competition. Victories against the Chiefs and Western Force, both at home, were about as good as it got for the men in black and white. They went down 52-10 to the Crusaders at home and could only muster one tour victory against the Reds. With a 44% win ratio and after finishing 11th on the overall log and 4th out of 5 in the South African Conference, the Sharks have entered the 2016 season with a new look squad, having lost a number of senior long-serving players and won't be lacking for motivation as they set out to redeem themselves following 2015's disappointments. One of the main things that we had to do post the Curry Cup season and in preparation for pre-season was to do a, a thorough due diligence of, of everything that did go wrong last year. And when we get down to the nuts and bolts of it, there were a lot of things that we didn't do well enough as a group. And it's not about looking at external factors, not look, looking at uh, what games we did or didn't play well in. It's, it's about ourselves. It's about our core basics and the pillars of the game that we, we didn't execute well enough last year. And the ultimate uh, objective is that you know, we want to score tries. And champions of the Super Rugby competition over the last couple of years have been teams to score tries. Springbok Patrick Lambie has been appointed as captain of the Sharks for the season. And although on the quiet side, he sees himself as a leader who sets a standard for others to follow, both on and off the field. It's always been something that I've, I've dreamt of. I was lucky at school to be in a number of leadership positions. Yeah, I'd like to think that it's sort of been a natural progression here at the Sharks too. Um, over the last few seasons, I have been involved in, in the leadership responsibilities and, and now to be named captain is a massive privilege and an honor. Um, I think it'll be a big challenge, but it's one that I'm really looking forward to. I've played under different captains and I think uh, having known Pet for a few years, you know, he's definitely going to be one of the best uh, captains that the Sharks will have. It's a, it's a big year for the Union, everyone is aware of that, so it's a, it's a big challenge for everyone, not for, only for him, but for everyone around him, and, you know, we, we can't wait to try and, and put those smiles back in our supporters. With the Duplessis brothers having departed the Sharks' front row, much responsibility will fall on the square shoulders of Springbok Tendayam Tawarira in setting the tone at the all-important set pieces. I'm excited about the future. Yes, uh, yeah, obviously you're going to miss uh, Busy and Yanni, but uh, the truth of the matter is that uh, you know we've moved on. You know, there's other guys that are going to replace them. You know, guys that are you know world class as well. You know, I'm very excited to see you know how Kumi's going to go, and he's really he's really been training hard and he's been uh, yeah proving himself already. So I think he's got a you know he's got a point to prove. I'd like to think that the, the new players that are arriving into the group are are seeing the right example from players that have been around and that are settled here at the Sharks. And I think that will inevitably lead to the correct culture and a healthy environment for players to, to play at their best, because at the end of the day, that's what we want. I haven't played for eight years, but what I can remember, it's one of the hardest competitions. Like overseas, it's a bit slower, so you've got a bit more time of if you want to do something. But, the, you know, of all the New Zealand teams, it's like lightning quick, so you have to make sure on top of your game. And that's, a, that's why I think you do a bit more fitness in South Africa and a bit more running as well. We're trying to move away from that word culture. I think we, it's been spoken about so much over the last couple of years. It's time now that we, we start putting our words into actions, I guess. So um, one of the things that we've been speaking about is, is behaving in the way that we would like to see others behave. There's a real buzz around the squad and the enthusiasm uh, about uh, how we want to go out this year and, and um, just really make people proud. There, there's no big predictions this year. There's, you know, it's just um, a commitment to our supporters who deserve a much improved season. And, and I think, you know, 99% of supporters just want to see their team giving 100% of themselves 100% of the time, and that's what we're committed to.